So this week we spoke about a song called I Know Whom I Have Believed. And one of the things we love about that hymn is that although there's a lot of questions in it, like I know not what this is, I don't understand how that works. It comes back constantly to I do know that I believed in Christ and that I have assurance of salvation in him. And so today for our bonus clip, we thought we'd talk about Bible passages that we go to for encouragement in times of uncertainty. So Monet, where'd you go? (laughs) Well, it's funny. I'll go to the similar place that we talked about in the Mm -hmm. episode first, because I hinted at it in the episode that my favorite passage of scripture um, was surrounding Ephesians 2, 4 to 10. Would you have me read? I think it was 4 to 10. Mm Mm-hmm. Whereas my my favorite passage of scripture is um, Ephesians 1 and 2, like both of those chapters. And so when I want to reach for encouragement in times of uncertainty, I love to look at particularly verses 3 to 6, 3 to 5. Um, where it says, blessed be the God and father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, even as he has chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him in love. He predestined us for adoption to himself as sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will. I love these verses because it is such a zoom out, like zoom all the way out, like keep zooming and understand how the Lord chose you before Mm -hmm. even the time and space and matter, like, you Mm -hmm. know, and that's so comforting to me, especially when it comes to assurance, because I've struggled with assurance off and on in my walk. And it's just to understand that the person whom I put my, my, my faith and my trust in that he was thinking of me before I had thoughts. Yeah. And not just thinking of me, but securing and locking down my adoption into his family before the foundations of the earth. I just find so much joy. Just even talking about it right now, yeah. I find so much joy in this passage. Um, but another verse that I actually stole from another lover of the gospel, um, is a random passage that I had never heard. Well, I've read it before, but I obviously glossed over it. Mm -hmm. I'd never thought about it in any seriousness until they were talking about it. Um, and if you listen to this person, they also have a podcast, you might know who I'm talking about, but I'm not even going to call them out because you're just going to have to guess, but it's Ecclesiastes seven verse 14. And it is, this is, it reads, in the day of prosperity, be joyful. In the, and in the day of adversity, consider God has made the one as well as the other mm. so that man may not find out anything that will be after him. So it is just like that first half of the verse, but the whole thing is, is in context, is so convicting and yet yeah. comforting. It's like on a day when the sun is shining and everything's going well, you might be more inclined to say, oh, praise the Lord, hallelujah. But in the hymn that we were talking about, the hymn writer says, I don't know what God has for me. Good days, bad Mm -hmm. bad days, I don't know. Until I see his face, it's not up to me. I don't know. But he, like in Ecclesiastes, we're being challenged to say, yeah, on the bad days, he's made those days too for you. That's how sovereign he is over your life. Um, So I think verses that point to the sovereignty of God really do encourage me, even though that might seem like a weird one. That's like, wow, that's a great one. And I really like that. I really like that about Ecclesiastes as well, is that I know a lot of people struggle with it, but I love how down to earth it is. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, yeah, do you know what? The world is pointless sometimes, or it feels (laughs) that way. And like, things are really hard and sometimes they're good Mm -hmm. and it doesn't make sense. Then it like brings you back to God and it mm. says, this is who God is and like that. Mm-hmm. And it's funny because the passage I go to is all about who God is as well. <laughs> <laughs> Moral of this, this bonus clip yeah. is that if you're struggling with uncertainty, you need to go back to who God is. <laughs> <laughs> so mine's from Lamentations and I know maybe that 
sounds cliche. You've seen part of this passage on coffee cups and like tea towels and whatever else. But I have always loved Lamentations ever since I was very, very little. I used to have a a, a kid's Bible. It was like the full Bible. I don't know what translation it was though. Mm. But I would legitimately just sit there and read Lamentations. <laughs> and I'd be like, this is fascinating. Yeah. He's like, breaking people's teeth with rocks and like <laughs> shooting them with arrows and for some reason it really I'd impress it really upon my me. young mind no but I used to read it and I used to just I would read basically chapters one to three because I would read the first couple and I'd be like this is horrible this is mm. awful this is so dark and I'd be like but but chapter three chapter mm. three so the um the passage I'm going to read is slightly broader than the one that you may have heard quoted it's cha- uh, chapter 3 verses 21 to 26 mm. and I wanted to go further but then I thought I'll end up reading the whole book so <laughs> um, it says but this I call to mind and therefore I have hope the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases his mercies never come to an end mm. they are new every morning great is your faithfulness the Lord is my portion says my soul therefore I will hope in him The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul who seeks him. It is good that one should wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. Yeah. There's a bunch of quoted verses in there. Coffee cup. Yeah, usually they just say 23 or 24, you know, your mercies are new every morning. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But I I love that it has like, the Lord is my portion as well. People Mm -hmm. often leave that out. Mm -hmm. And even like, the Lord is good to those who wait for him and Mm -hmm. the soul who seeks him. Mm -hmm. And I love that there's that that acknowledgement that sometimes it requires patience and it requires mm. effort. But it, what's interestingly what's quoted out of those verses is is the bits that exclude God. You know, yes, it's like good to those who wait for Him. Yeah, the for Him's missing. Mm. Yeah, wonder why. But that's a comfort, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, because we, we're not just waiting arbitrarily for some good thing to happen. We're not even waiting for an uncertainty. It's mm. going to happen. And that's really reassuring in yeah. itself. For him. I hope you enjoyed that bonus clip from the most recent episode of the Him Partial podcast. Make sure you go over to impartial.com to sign up for our free weekly newsletter. And if you're watching us on YouTube, go ahead and hit subscribe and ring the bell so that you don't miss another episode.